Hey, it's Blake here, and if you've watched a lot of my videos, you've seen me go into thrift stores and talk about items that way. In this video, I already bought the items that are in the back of my car right there, and instead of taking you through the layout of a thrift store, because I'm sure many of you know how thrift stores look, I'm going to spend more time looking at the individual items, uh, because in this haul, I spent probably 200 bucks, uh, and it's a more diverse array of items the kind of stuff you might find at your thrift stores, not just books, electronics, uh, what I would call my bread and butter, reliable items. Not that you don't wanna search out those, just that these might more accurately resemble the kind of things you'll see in your thrift stores. Let's get out there. Here are the items. I do have some books, so we're gonna take those out. Uh, but as you can see, it's a mixture of Goodwill, and then this is Salvation Army stuff right here. Let's take it inside now. I have a table set up. We can go through each item individually. There are most of the items, so we've got them laid out on this table. I'm gonna go through from left to right and explain uh, why I picked them out and what I think they'll go for. I don't have the prices right in front of me. I did look them up when I, when I bought them, so I know they're all profitable, but to what extent uh, there might be a bit of variability. So let's start in this bag or uh, box right here in a, a Panasonic. SLSX 390 uh, portable anti-skip CD player. I paid five bucks for it. Uh, I wasn't able to test it obviously, but I saw no corrosion back there with the batteries. Uh, and that usually means it's gonna be fine. I should sell this for about 35 uh, or 50 bucks, somewhere in that range. And I'll use Amazon to sell that. But for many of you who are uh, more veteran sellers, you might say, oh, but Panasonic's gated. Not for me, uh, I can sell Panasonic on Amazon. If I couldn't though, I'd still get 25, 30 bucks uh, on eBay for this. In, inside the box more, this is a, uh, a brand you wanna look out for, and that's Shinesty, like Dynasty, but with shine. And as you may have already noticed, it's a University of Michigan suit coat, uh, brand new sports jacket. I'm not sure what the right term for it is, but um, you know, as far as I'm concerned, those two things are very similar. Uh, what really sells this is not what it is, you know, in terms of, of clothing, but the interior design. I could not find these for sale on the website. They have a lot of things for sale. Uh, they're a licensing company, so basically they take all sorts of funny, weird clothing, maybe overalls, maybe like a lumberjack suit, whatever it is, um, or fireman overalls, I guess is what they're called, not lumberjack overalls, and they put logos on them. I'm in Ann Arbor, or around Ann Arbor at least, so I see a lot of Michigan stuff. I paid $8 for this. I think I can get between probably 75 and 100 bucks for this. Um, it's a larger size, size uh, 54. I think it says right here. Yeah, which is about a double XL or a triple XL, I'd say, um, which is better, I, uh, you know, all things said and done, because usually larger sizes sell better. I'm not sure I'm gonna put this. Um, let me stop the video and I'll put, a, I'll put it right there. I'll put it in that bag right there. Uh, this is Dance Dance Revolution Supernova. So the um, it doesn't include that iToy USB camera, even though it says it has it right there. Uh, if you look in the back of the box, it says something about not having it. I don't know where it is exactly, um, even though it does recommend it. What it doesn't have and it's supposed to have is this game right here. So this US or, um, UPC code, when you scan it, it brings up an Amazon listing and it sells for about 100 bucks. Uh, on eBay, they sell for very, very little individually. So for those of you who are watching, whoops, <laughs> knocked the camera with my hand. So from those of you, so for those of you who are watching, uh, what you can do to make some money potentially is buy these two things separately, sell them uh, together on the Amazon listing. I don't recall what the sales rank was. It wasn't a good sales rank. And so that you're not going to sell like a hundred a day or even probably like five a month. But, um, you know, if you have the opportunity here or there, I think probably this is a good bet. Uh, going a bit deeper into this box, we found an Amazon Kindle. I paid nine bucks for it. I paid up for it a little bit. Um, I'm not sure what these go for, probably 25 or 30 bucks. But I'm always buying these because they're good gifts, I think. You know, everyone has to read more. And if I can't sell it, I'll sell it locally for 25, 30 bucks. They're, they're pretty much always in demand. Um, it might be going for more, but I highly doubt it. It's not one of the color ones. There's the Amazon Fire Kindle, I think it's called, that has a color. But still, these uh, e-ink readers have like a 10,000 year battery life, so they're still in demand in some instances. This is a Just Dance 20, uh, Just Dance 2. It's in very good condition. 
Um, I'm going to pair it probably with a Wii, and that's why I bought it for 3 bucks. By itself, it's not worth very much money. But when you can add these games into Wiis, uh, generally, the, the not generally, but in this instance in time, uh, this time being pandemic lockdowns uh, time, everyone's buying video games that encourage some sort of athletic uh athletic athletic uh playing uh they, they make you move around they make you move around so these dancing games like that make you move around uh this one too uh and so if i pair it with a wii i'll be able to ask probably 20 bucks more for it a pair of jordan uh university of michigan shoes similar to that jacket right there these shoes are in decent condition uh there's no like tears on them no serious wear a little bit right there but it's not bad enough for me not to sell it I paid 11 bucks for it. I'll clean these up, and I should get probably $75 for them. Uh, these two Kodak 35 millimeter cameras, I think they're a 35, yeah, camera outfit. Two of them, five bucks. Uh, these are very rarely sold, new in package, new in box, new in clamshell, however you want to define this thing that's inside of the container. Uh, so I think I can probably ask 80 bucks for the two of these, um, 80 bucks a piece. Because there are no new listings and uh, I can dictate the price. And that sounds reasonable to me. Uh, a flip camera, I've talked about these before. They sell for about $50 to $75 on Amazon. I don't know the eBay price. If you guys haven't noticed, I sell mostly on Amazon. So that's what I'm going off of. Um, this right here, I paid 3 bucks for it. Again, um, I don't know if it works. The way you charge these is with the USB thing right there. So when I test it, assuming it does work and I don't have reason to believe it's not going to work. Uh, I'll, I'll get, you know, 50 or 60 bucks for it. It's pink, not gray. Makes it a bit more rare, uh, but also uh, there are fewer pink flip cams selling than gray ones. Just, just not a popular color, I guess. Another uh, a Blu ray player. This is a Samsung. I don't think it's a 3D Blu ray player. I think it's just a regular, yeah, it's just a regular Blu ray player. And it has like the app interface. Uh, so it's got Wi Fi connectivity uh, uh what's the word for when something is made oem oem uh you know off the rack wi-fi capabilities i think you might say it up there yeah wi-fi uh right there and i get about a hundred bucks for these we have this little toy uh these these uh fisher price it's like a learn to read kids toy or learn to talk or shapes and numbers i don't know what it's called uh, they go for about 50 bucks on, on Amazon. The price fluctuates pretty high. A lot of people sell these for cheap, but at the $50 mark, they're moving, uh, and I bought it for $3. Same with this uh, VTech Apple toy. I may have made a mistake. Um, I've sold these before, but I think I sold the older version. So this is a newer version. I don't think it's um, discontinued yet, and so I don't know what the price is. But the older version that says uh, VTech Alphabet Apple somewhere on there, Goes for about 50 bucks on Amazon. Uh, this item here, this books uh, set, it's pretty cool. The authorized edition of the famous fantasy trilogy, The Lord of the Rings, newly revised with a special foreword by the author. I paid a buck 50 for this. I gotta take those off before they make a mark. Uh, and it's not like the most amazing book find, but uh, on eBay, you're seeing this sell for like $25. On Amazon, I think I might be able to get 45 bucks for it. Um, kind of a high sales rank, but it's cool enough where I don't have a, a problem holding on to it. Put these cameras back in that box. I got two Guitar Hero guitars. This one is a PS2 wired Guitar Hero guitar. Very, very dirty, but um, looks clean on this end. I don't see any evidence of a, of a tear or a snag or a snap, so I think it still works. Uh, one of these days I'm going to test all my Guitar Hero guitars because I probably should. Um, I don't usually test them. I can just do a spot check, you know, you jiggle it because all that's inside this thing is a wire that connects these buttons at uh, this. Ooh, it's really sticky. Hmm. Well, I will have to open this up and clean this. Oh, yeah. Yuck. This may have been a bad buy, guys. Yuck. It's got like some, I don't know, soy sauce in there or something. I'm gonna have to take this bad boy apart. Uh, I am not looking forward to that. Let's do that right now. Okay, well, I couldn't get any of these. Well, I got one screw out, but I couldn't get any of the other ones out. I was just tearing up the screws. So I'm going to buy a different uh, screwdriver. 
a, a nicer pair of screwdrivers or a nicer set and see if I can do that. But for the time being, the, this guy is going to have to chill out over there. But I did get this one right here. There's, uh, I hope it's not in the same dismal condition as that first one. I paid three bucks for it. It's the, uh, what is this, Explorer controller. And uh, it's for an Xbox 360. You can tell that right there. But it's missing the, um, the tip. Someone I know calls these rabbit ears. And this is like the USB, I don't know, connector port. I have a bunch of these. I bought them in bulk, so I just put one of those on there. A lot of times when you buy these uh, at the store, at the thrift store, um, they don't have this USB rabbit ear type cord, but you can buy them in bulk on uh, Alibaba or DHK or even Amazon or eBay for that matter. Um, I paid like two bucks per, and I bought a uh, hundred of them because I go through these pretty, pretty frequently. Okay, what do we have over here? Uh, Skylanders Superchargers Combo Toy. This is for the Activision Skylanders video game series. They're kind of like Amiibos a little bit. I don't know exactly the details, but I know enough to know that they're uh, they're kind of like Amiibos. Gosh darn it. Okay, well, that fell down, but don't worry. It's got some pretty uh, heavy packaging, so it's still still fine. I paid four bucks for this. The current price is uh, $25. But I think I'm gonna put this guy on a shelf and wait, a, you know, six months or maybe maybe less than that, hopefully, uh, for when everyone else is sold out, and I'll sell it for about 50 bucks when uh, the supply has reached uh, that point. Casio uh, printing calculator. This one I bought it, and I think that's how it's supposed to look. Um, I'm always weary of these missing the plastic guards because they seem to often miss those plastic guards that that uh, guide in the printing tape or printing paper I mean this one I paid uh, three bucks for there's no tag on it but that's what I paid for it um, I always check to make sure the battery panel is, uh, is on these because if the battery panel is not on those you get a lot more returns and that's not good for anyone not you not the customer so this is a, a tax and exchange one 12 digits as more people are working from home I've seen an uptick in these sales and I sell them for usually between 49 and 69 dollars this one will be no exception this right here uh it's a hair product uh leave-in or rinse out conditioner um for curly coily shrinkage prone hair i'm gonna see if ashley wants it i paid three bucks a piece for those they're brand new they go for like 16 to 20 bucks online so if she doesn't want them i can still sell them but i bought them just you know thinking about her in mind and so whatever if she wants them great if she doesn't i'll make i don't know Let's see, they're gonna cost probably like eight bucks to ship. So six plus eight is 14. So I'll be all in 14 and I'll probably get like 30 bucks for it. So I'll still make like 10 or, you know, $12, which is not bad, not bad at all. Um, these probably won't sell and I bought them for me. So we have these three like cocktail type glasses, New York Giants, Los Angeles Raiders uh, and the Cleveland Browns. So I guess these would have to be either before the Browns went to um, went to Baltimore or after uh, the expansion team was formed in Cleveland. So that'd be like the year 2000 or like the late 80s, if I recall correctly. I don't know. I'm sure someone in the comments can tell me what year uh, the Cleveland Browns left Cleveland and betrayed the state of Ohio, uh, becoming the Baltimore Ravens. I also have this... Uh, it's like a, I guess you'd call, I don't know what it's called, but it's for like any sort of uh, beverage that has aromatic qualities. The head fills up there. Beer typically, but I can't drink beer, so I'll probably put cider in there. Um, and what I want to do is just have every single team because I love football uh, and <laughs> with the with reality that increasingly seems to, uh, to tell us there's not going to be as much football this year as uh, I would like personally. I find myself going in other avenues trying to uh, get my uh, fix, so to speak. So uh, one of the things I like besides football is golf. We have two clubs right here. One of these is, is um, really a shame that I, that I shouldn't even have bought it, but I did because I'm a sucker for golf. This is an Odyssey two-ball putter, probably circa, I don't know, the, the year... 2005 to 10 I'd bet and look at that a real nasty chunk out of it somebody missed uh, one too many tap-ins I guess and threw it against a wall or something I don't know uh, I'll clean this up I paid five bucks for it 
I should get probably 25 bucks for it, but mostly I bought this because I like golf and I want to, you know, sell putters and golf clubs. It's fun for me. This item here, I think is a bit more valuable. So it's a uh, Mighty Houston, Mighty Ashton, no, Wright and, Wright and Wilson Beeline. But what, what really sold me on this was not the name of the, um, of the manufacturer, it is the shaft. And I think, you guys, again, correct me if I'm wrong, I think this is a hickory shaft. I know it's not the, um, the, the plastic polymer shaft that's common amongst clubs from like the 50s and 60s and even 70s. So this is an earlier, or, or at least the same kind of technology that was earlier used in like the 20s and 30s, I believe. Um, right and, well, what I looked up to find comps on eBay was, was Beeline uh, Hickory Shaft Club. It's got this um, like a leather grip and a metal cap on the top. And then the bottom of it says 17 degrees or 16 degrees, which puts it at about a one iron. I think a two irons, 18 degrees. So it's a, it's a driving iron or even a putter for that matter. Doesn't have a lot of face wear, has some um, obvious signs of rust, but the hosel is totally fine. It's not moving around, not bouncing around. This could even be a club that someone even uses. They have these, they're called like Knickerbocker tournaments or something like that, where guys use all hickory, uh, hickory clubs and so a driving iron like this is in as a kind of a hot commodity, uh, especially if it's uh, you know suitable for use or for play. So I saw one of these sell for $110. I saw one sell for $25. I paid a buck for this. Uh, I'm obviously gonna do some more research, but uh, assuming that I'm right about this being a hickory shaft uh, and the, the time being generally correct uh, before 1950, I think I'll list it around 100 bucks um, and either someone who's gonna fix it up and use it's gonna buy it or like a pro shop or a collector will buy it This is pretty standard right here Whole slew of TI 83 pluses five of those bad boys right there uh, I didn't test them so they might have issues with the screen a lot of times the ribbon um, On the back of the calculator. There's a ribbon that connects like the pad to um, this one, I guess there's a little bit of a bruise there, but there's a ribbon that connects the pad to the screen. And if that ribbon gets peeled up in any uh, sort of way, that's how you see the sort of like, it isn't a digitized error, but it's small little pixels turn black that kind of looks like a digital error. This bruising, um, I probably wouldn't have bought this. I only paid two bucks for it, but I hate buying them with these bruises because you can't really fix that. Uh, I suppose I could have just bought it for the back panel, which I might even do, and I'll just sell this in a, a calculator lot on eBay. Uh, all the other ones, I'm gonna look like an idiot if they have bruising. I'm pretty sure there's not bruising on them. I'm pretty sure I checked off. I might not want to do it right now. Uh, I paid on average like three bucks for all these. I paid two bucks for this, uh, three bucks for all these, and then four bucks for that one right there. And uh, none of them have corrosion in the back battery panel. That's what I usually check to make sure uh, that there's no corrosion back there because that's one of the only reasons I have them breaking that or um, like I said, the um, the ribbon coming off the back. And even that ribbon is not that hard of a, of a fix. You have to get like a, a uh, what's one of those, one of those little pieces of metal that you use to like weld metal together, uh, a, a soldering iron. You can use a soldering iron to like reapply the ribbon and it works fine. Uh, I have not done that successfully, but I've seen guys do it on YouTube. So what else do we have? Uh, some more just basic clothing items right here. This is kind of a cool t-shirt that I bought for three bucks. Um, it's a, a local publishing house, University of Michigan Publishing. It has this cool green, green, or I'm sorry, blue, uh, like metallic, whatever. But mostly I saw it was Screen Stars made in USA, 50-50 blend, and I bought that. Now, you know, it was more just because I like this kind of stuff. I'll probably only get like 25 bucks for it, but it's light to ship, all in all pretty easy. How many of you guys know this brand right here? Pendleton, did you know that Pendleton made t-shirts? I didn't know that. I paid six bucks for this. Um, it's an extra large. I'm gonna keep it for myself. Uh, I probably could only get like 20 bucks for it. So I'd be making like maybe five or 10 bucks uh, on eBay. Uh, but I'm gonna keep it because, I don't know. It's a cool brand. It's a, a nice, nice well-made item. And I'm always ruining t-shirts. This uh, an NFL licensed New York Giants Christmas sweater. 
I paid 11 bucks for it. It's new. This thing initially retailed for uh, almost $80, $79.99. So I should get about 60 or 70 bucks for it. But Ashley, again, might want this. She's a big New York Giants fan. It's a medium, a bit too big for her. But, uh, you know, girls like to wear things that are way too big for them anyway. So maybe she will like it. I bought some DVDs, mostly uh, new DVDs, as you can see right there, but two ones that are used. I just scanned these titles, and both of these are selling for about 25 bucks. This one on Amazon, <laughs> Girls Gone Dead, which um, if you remember being alive at around you know uh, 2, 2 to 4 a.m. in the, the mid-2000s, you know what this is playing off of. Uh, this one goes for about 30 bucks on Amazon, and this Lord of the Dance, it's <laughs> very, very dissimilar um, potential potential buyers, but both of them profitable. And then, then these three uh, new DVDs are in the $25 range. Speaking of DVDs, what else do we have? We have two DVD VCR combo players. This one is a Philips Forehead Hi-Fi uh, player. Very dirty, very dirty right there, all that dust. I'm gonna have to clean this out. Um, Let's see, the model number is, I don't even remember what the model number is. Uh, yeah, let's see, DVD 750VR, I paid 20 bucks for it, and I'll ask 125 to 150. When I sell these, I include a brand new universal remote, uh, just to make sure that I don't get a return, or I guess I can't make sure, but I've noticed that adding a remote cuts back on probably, I don't know, I sell three or four or five dozen of these a month, and I'll get like four or five returns. And I haven't had a return since. Uh, I began implementing my universal uh, remote rule. Beneath it is a, another forehead um, DVD VCR combo. This one's GFM, which uh, is like a, a small brand. I forget who owns GFM, but someone like Samsung or, um, or a, a larger brand basically owns this. And then they would make these, uh, these cheaper made GFM models, kind of like Emerson. Uh, I think a larger company owns Emerson or like uh, Funai and SV2000. A lot of times those fancier brands have cheaper, not private label models, but effectively the same thing. Uh, I think I paid, how much did I pay for this? I paid six bucks for it, pretty cheap. Uh, and I should get probably 120 for it. Again, I'll put a, a universal remote with that as well to cut back on returns. The universal remotes I use, if you're curious, I, they're like GE universal remotes. Uh, and I bought a hundred of them on eBay for three bucks a piece. Some basic run-of-the-mill uh, brand new toys, uh, a puzzle, puzzle ball right here. The brand Ravensburger is a great puzzle brand. Uh, there's no one selling this puzzle on Amazon right now, so I'm gonna ask probably a hundred bucks for it. I paid four dollars for it, and I feel very good it'll sell. It looks to be as if it's in German, or at least the... Uh, Oh, never mind. It's not. It's in English, too. Um, but German appears to be the uh, primary language. Display stand included. Uh, it's in centimeters. An import, it appears, ages 12 to 99. Again, I paid four bucks for it. I'll estimate it's going to cost. It's kind of heavy. It's got the stand in there. It'll cost me 12 or 15 bucks a ship. So I'd say I'll probably make about 60 bucks on this, which is not bad. Not bad at all. And then are you smarter than a fifth grader? Uh, the, the show, the name of the man in this picture has a show before the show that I'm on, on a &E, So I had to buy it. I paid six bucks for it. Uh, it's going for about 45 bucks right now on Amazon. Not the best flip in the world, but still an easy $25 or more in my pocket. And then finally, I bought two of these Fister uh, soap dispensers. When you buy home appliances like this, you gotta watch out because a lot of times people who buy these for their uh, their home decor, home repair, DIY stuff, they will put what they replaced in the original package. So this happens to be the same one pictured. Um, you can see it neatly fits into the uh, die cut cardboard, uh, as well as there's no no sign of use, no gunk in the uh, the soap container, no rust or anything. And that goes for both of them. But a lot of times if you go to a thrift store and you buy some sort of kitchen appliance like this small appliance at all, um, you have to make sure that what's in the box is what is on the front of the box. Because like I said, a lot of times if someone's doing 
uh, any sort of renovation, they're just gonna put the, in this case, soap dispenser that they took out back in the container of the, the one they're replacing it with for ease of donation. And that is everything, isn't it? I think it is, and if it's not, well, you can ask me about it in the comments because I can give you an answer pretty easily. Hope that was helpful. Hope I explained what I'm looking for when I'm buying stuff. Uh, again, I spent probably 200 bucks on all this stuff. I'm not sure I didn't do the math, uh, maybe less. I said the prices to you, so if you if you want to do the math yourself, you are welcome to. Uh, and I don't know what else to say, guys. I appreciate your viewership. Uh, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Give it a thumbs up. And uh, I'll see you guys on Wednesday at noon Eastern for my next Reseller Lunch live stream. See you later.